full income tax elimination can occur. We have contended that those revenues are going to continue to come in. House Speaker Philip Gunn proposing yet another plan to eliminate the state personal income tax based on new estimates of extra revenue Gunn claims the state is collecting. Right now, we have about $1.5 billion in excess revenues. According to Gunn, if the current pace continues, Mississippi will have an additional $2.5 billion in added revenue by the start of the fiscal year, July 1st. We clearly believe that shows that income tax elimination is feasible. Gunn's new plan phases out the personal income tax over the next 18 years, cutting out $100 million each year. Now, I know people hear that number, $100 million, and think that's a lot of money, and it is a lot of money. And it's a lot of money to return, be returned to the taxpayers. But on a prospective basis, that is one and a half percent of our budget. On a dollar, that's a penny and a half. So it's a lot of money that we have to make up from other sources and, and make sure that we have growth and those kinds of things. Glenn explaining how much extra money single and married couples would have under his plan. That puts $1,300 a month back into the pockets of a, a citizen making $40,000 a year. Uh, 2600 for a, for a couple. Gunn's plan still hasn't gotten support from Lieutenant Governor Delvin Hoseman and the state Senate, which has presented its own revised tax proposal to suspend the state gas tax for six months, cut the grocery tax from 7% to 5%, and give taxpayers a $1,000 rebate this year. So I thought the Senate plan was very, very strong for taxpayers, and I'm leery of doing more than that.